Hey, what's going on guys? Hope you are all doing well. So Chicago's Wizard World rolled through about a week and a half ago now and uh, we all went out there for just Saturday and had a really, really good time. So I got some footage from the event, um, got some signatures and a whole slew of artwork, picked up a lot of stuff at this convention here. So uh, I'm going to show a little bit of the footage first, go through the autographs I got and then go through the artwork and then saving one piece for the very end that just blew me away. My favorite piece that I got there for sure and uh, got a good story to go with it too. So stay tuned guys. All right, so here's the lobby to Wizard World and just kind of walk in the main doors. You go in the far back there to get your tickets. They got some merch bins and everything in there to get merchandise for the show. And here's the main floor here and you can see right there, look at this wall of Funko Pops here. Um, there were Funkos everywhere out there. I mean, it was definitely the hot item of the convention. Um, actually, I found my Darth Maul one on that particular vendor there, so happy to finally get a Darth Maul pop. But, uh, you know, this was laid out so nice this year. This convention has really become, you know, extremely congested with the popularity of Walking Dead and, you know, Marvel, and now Star Wars is just bigger than ever again. Uh, these conventions just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and Wizard World this year did a fantastic job accommodating for that crowd size. Um, this here, you know, this is really busy right here. It's a lot of people, and you know, you can see all of that. But, you know, a couple years ago, three years ago, um, picture twice as many people. And the reason why it's a little more thinned out is because they have opened up into other halls here. This used to be crammed into just one room, and now there are two giant rooms. We didn't even have time to walk the entire floor. That's how big it is now. And, uh, you know, that's awesome. You know, that just lets me know next year, four-day pass, and have plenty of time to check everything out then. But, uh, yeah, so happy with the convention this year. Laid out perfectly. And check out this badass Kylo Ren outfit right here. Absolutely amazing. All right, and this here, uh, a lot of fun to walk through. And I got through it perfectly walking normal. When I decided to take the, the camera in there, I was uh, bouncing all over the place. It was impossible to walk through this straight looking through the camera lens. But, um... This is really neat what they did here at Wizard World this year, and this is what kind of helped make it even bigger. This was a completely separate floor, and it was for the Bruce Campbell Horror Fest. So they had a big horror convention thing there, uh, which was the Evil Dead 1 and 2 reunion, and some props out there. You got the Book of the Dead um, being guarded in there from Army of Darkness, and back here, the Evil Dead Cabin, and also Army of Darkness setups here as well. Uh, really, really cool in here, though, having the Horror Fest and everything. Um, really nice addition to Wizard World and uh, super happy with that because horror is my thing. So comics and horror together in one big convention, can't beat it. And uh, here's the Evil Dead Cabin, this thing was so cool. Um, and yeah, here we go, you can walk right in and uh, there's Riley and Kristen chilling there and they got the cellar with the hands coming up, so really, really kind of neat prop on that. And um, you know, behind us we got the, uh, the stuffed head on the wall which is super cool. Um, so cool to be in there. And how cool is this? How many people can say they saw Bruce Campbell walk in front of the Evil Dead cab? And I thought that was such a golden opportunity to get a quick shot there. I was really happy to be able to catch it on camera. That's, that's a pretty cool moment right there. All right, guys, so now time for the goodies here. And the only autographs that I got and what was really my pull to go to Wizard World outside of checking out the artwork is at an Evil Dead and Evil Dead 2 cast reunion. So I already got an Evil Dead 1 poster hanging up right there that is all signed up, but I had to go get Evil Dead 2. So... Here is my poster, all signed up here, and I was so excited to get this. One of my favorite horror franchises ever, and Evil Dead 2. It's probably my second favorite horror film ever, right behind Phantasm. And uh, here we go. So, just going over the autographs real quick here. First one, we got Cassie DePava on there, who uh, played Bobby Joe, and you got two Scott. I hope you rot down there. Next one here, we got Sarah Barry, who played Annie, and she put two Scott. That thing in the cellar is not my mother. Happy horror. And then we got Dan Hicks, who played Jake, who, in my opinion, is the best part of the Evil Dead musical. I've seen that twice now, and every single person I've seen play him, even with the bootlegs, just crushes it. Love his character. And if you've not seen Evil Dead the musical, get on that. Uh, we put two Scott, still evil, still dead, two. And then uh, Dan Hicks on there, and of course, Bruce Campbell on there. Hey Scott with his signature and Ash under there. So, so, so happy to get this poster signed up here. So it'll look really nice right next to my Evil Dead poster. I have both of these on there. And a huge shout out again to my buddy Chris Ness. I've mentioned him a couple times on my channel. Got some of his artwork and showed it in previous videos. Um, he hooked me up with an exhibitor badge, which got me right to the front of the line with VIP. So I didn't have to wait at all for Bruce Campbell, whose line was ridiculous. So... Thank you very much for that, man. It was a lifesaver. And because we got to go in that line, we also got this exclusive poster they were giving out there. Um, so cool and really happy and cannot wait for this. And it's Ash vs. Evil Dead and a promotional poster there. But uh, 
you got the top with ash on there down to the bottom so really nice size poster there it's really really thick paper too so i mean it's a really good quality poster um really happy to have that cannot wait for this show to come out so that's the signatures i got at wizard world in chicago this year all right guys so time to move on to the artwork now and i got a lot of it this year i'm a huge artwork collector as it is i'm having a really hard time trying to find room on the walls to put all of this and make it look nice and presentable but um i can't stop collecting it because i am just a huge fan of art and love supporting the artists out there um, so make sure to stay tuned to the end again. I'm going to show my favorite piece from the convention and I got a good story to go with it. I just, this piece just struck home for me, but, um, started off here. I got go-to artists. I have people that I, you know, I love to go check out what they have. That's kind of the first place I need to stop. And then I like to walk the floor and just whatever pops out, you know, pops out and I grab it. And I got some of that too, but kicking it off here is from Corey Smith. And I got a couple pieces already. I've got a Loki print, a Joker print, and then a, um, Pirates of the Caribbean Jack Sparrow print, which my girlfriend got. And I love the way he does his art. It's extremely detailed, and he always puts a little personalized touch on it. He does a stenciling in it with colored pencils, so it's not just a print. It's a print with the artist actually adding to it. So really like that a lot. And this year he had Darth Vader. And just love this print. It's so ridiculously detailed and just absolutely gorgeous. And if you look on the nose there, that's where he put in a little bit of blue and on the corners there and it's just it's a nice little added touch that makes it pop and i made a mat for this already got to get a frame for it but i got a dark blue surrounding and then like a black trim going around it so i wanted to bring out you know the color in the nose a little bit and then have that black trim so um yeah cannot wait to get this bad boy framed up on the wall but um that's Corey smith right there make sure you check out the link down below all right guys the next up here is jim ferguson and he is definitely one of the artists that i am most excited to run to his table for um, first of all, really cool guy, and he's got plenty of stuff to flip through, and I just love the way he does his art. He takes movie scenes and puts them into just a, such a unique print size, too. He does these in sizes that fit in CD framing, so um, it's definitely a unique size and very unique art. So and the way he does his art, it just, I don't know, it pops for me. I really enjoy this a lot, so got a bunch from him. First here we've got from Clockwork Orange. Next. Iconic moment from Jurassic Park, of course. And we got Pee Wee. Which I got the new movie coming out, too, which is crazy. The guy looks exactly the same. I can't believe it. And we got Steve Martin and the Jerk. And my Jaws prints. I love this print. Such a cool moment in Jaws. Man, I praise Jaws forever. <laughs> I love this moment where, um, you know, Quint crushes the can and then Hooper has to crush his water cups. <laughs> so cool. And I got Brody right there, right after Jaws comes up when he's chumming some of that shit. And then, uh, of course, the moment here where, uh, <laughs> big argument with the mayor there, so cool, cool stuff. And last but not least, The Monster Squad. Such an awesome movie, such a cool print. And uh, this one here is for my daughter because she's grown to love this movie as well. But um, that's what we got from Jim Ferguson. Love his art so much. It'll be a link down below to check him out as well. Next piece I got here is from Rob Pryor. And I've got one print from him, which was from Man of Steel. It was Superman. Um, but man, this guy has really, really good art. And I could not pass this print up here. I absolutely love this the second I saw it. And that is Thanos with the Infinity Gauntlet. And uh, just love this. Just super, super detailed. And just love the way that this print looks here. And, you know, of course, we got the Avengers going to be taking him on here pretty soon. And uh, I don't have any Thanos artwork, so I wanted to get one, and that print struck home. So link down below for Rob as well. All right, so the next big group of stuff that we got is from this guy that is just simply known as Rack. And I uh, met Rack a little while ago now, and he does such a unique thing of art. He basically makes trading card size prints, puts them in a sleeve, and sells them for a buck each. And he has it for pretty much any characters you can imagine. Um, really love his style with everything, and it's fun to flip through everything and find a bunch. And for a buck each, I mean, you can't beat it. Really fun stuff. Um, so we got a bunch. I'm going to flip through these real quick. First group here, these are the ones that we got for my daughter. So we got Elsa from Frozen, Anna from Frozen, Olaf from Frozen, Sven from Frozen, and we got Spike from Gremlins, Gizmo from Gremlins, and then Raven. I think she said it was from Teen Titans. I'm honestly not sure, but Raven. <laughs> And then um, Roger Rabbit here, the uh, Jessica. So that was for her. And then we got a big stack here. So I'm going to split these in two real quick. All right. So first we got Larry from the Three Stooges, Mo from the Three Stooges, Curly from the Three Stooges, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, Loki, the Winter Soldier, Thanos, 
Rocket Raccoon, Gamora, Baby Groot, <clears throat> Yandu, Drax, why am I Star-Lord, Jesus, <laughs> Groot, and then uh, we already got some of the Wizard of Oz ones, but this is one that we needed, so we needed the Flying Monkey, and then we needed Hagrid from Harry Potter still, we got Elmo, Oscar the Grouch, and going to the next stack here, we've got Cookie Monster, E.T., Alice in Wonderland, the Cheshire Cat, Fozzie Bear, Animal, Kermit the Frog, Miss Piggy, Eeyore, Winnie the Pooh, Tigger, Piglet, and then we got some Universal Monsters here. We got Bride of Frankenstein, Dracula, The Mummy, The Wolfman, and Frankenstein. So... Yeah, really addicting to go through all that stuff. You can spend a lot of time. He has so much stuff there. I want to say we probably got 150 to 200 of his cards now, but uh, awesome, awesome guy. So definitely go check Rack out as well. All right, guys, so the next pieces here come from Matt Pepler and do not have any art from him. And this is one of those things where you're just, you know, I'm leaving the convention. We passed by, just grabbed our eyes. We had to stop by and check it out and just fell in love with his artwork. So got only five pieces for this go around here, but definitely plan on grabbing more in the future from him. And uh, kicking it off here, beautiful Star Wars print, and that is for the planet of Tatooine. And to follow that up, we've got Hoth here. And I love that with the Tauntauns up on top here looking over. And not to be outdone and completing it out, we've got Endor. And just absolutely love the three of those. Um, those are going to look great up on the Star Wars wall over here for sure. And uh, next one I got here from him, and really love this one too. Predator is one of my favorite movies. And just love the color palette on that. And so cool. You got the group of guys here and then up in the trees, the Predators hanging out. So really like that print a lot. And the last one here, and this is the one that really struck my eyes. I mean, if I was walking out with anything, I was getting this print. And then browsing around, more popped out. But I had to grab this one here. And I'll give you a second here to figure it out. And if you don't know yet, it's from Jaws. And you wouldn't know just by looking at it unless you know Amity Island. Because that's where Jaws takes place. But I like this so much because it's really subtle. Um, this looks like the type of print that you would walk into a hotel and kind of see chilling in the lobby or something, and that's why I like it. It's a very subtle, chill Jaws print, and I'm always excited to come across Jaws stuff, so uh, really happy to have all that art. I really, really like what Matt's doing with this, so again, link down below to check out Matt. All right, and the next prints here come from Chris Fulton, and my daughter Riley is the one who pointed these out because she's really into that Five Nights at Freddy's game, and he has some Five Nights at Freddy's character prints. So I um, had to stop and grab some of those for her. And first one here, I honestly don't remember these characters' names. I want to say this one is Roxy, but um, I honestly do not remember. But she is really, really into this game right now. And uh, we got this guy too. And then she sees this other print, and she's like, oh, man, I got to have that. And I was like, are you sure you're going to be okay with this being up in your room? And she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, all right. We grabbed it, <laughs> and that's the, uh, the Babadook here. And she really liked this movie a lot. We watched it about a month or two ago. And um, I told her, I was like, it's going to be really creepy. You know, it's a pretty scary movie, so be ready. And we get done watching it. And I'm like, so, did you like it? She goes, yeah, it was really good. You know, it wasn't as scary as I thought it was going to be, but uh, I really like the movie. It's a really good story and everything. And I'm just like, all right, that's my girl. <laughs> so, yes, I'm super pumped to put that in her room. As weird as that sounds. <laughs> Next we got here is for Kristen, and uh, she really likes Edward Scissorhands, so he had a nice print right there, Johnny Depp, and it's got the snow in there, which is something that she really liked about that, so um, really nice prints. I really like his artwork. Um, I did not get one for myself, but definitely plan on checking his table out again uh, the next time we're going to be out. But uh, yeah, again, link down below if you want to check out Chris. All right, just a couple more here. Um, the next artist that we went and visited, I thought I grabbed his card, but I cannot find it anywhere, so um, I honestly do not remember the guy's name, but I... Just another thing, passing by, I was just like, man, I really like the way this looks. Had to grab it. Um, it's just, it's cool. It's, it's cartoonish type art. Um, it's the same size print that Jim does, which I like. But um, you got Star Wars here. Followed by Guardians of the Galaxy. The Universal Monsters. And Harry Potter. Um, really, really liked how those looked. And a really fair price for this. I had to jump on those. I wish I could find the card. If I do find it, I'll mention it in a later video here. But um, really good stuff. All right, guys. So that is just about everything. A lot of our work that I picked up this year. I'm really happy to have all of it. But um, like I said, there's one print in particular that just stood out and is my favorite print that I picked up. 
And this is another one that comes from Jim Ferguson. So the prints that I showed of his, he does the, you know, five by 11s that fit in the CD frame, but you can get the larger print as well, which fits in a record size frame. So I had to go with the larger print for this. As soon as I saw this, my jaw hit the floor and that's because of the story here. So there's a huge emotional attachment to this particular print here. And that's because back in April, myself, my girlfriend, my two best friends, we went out to Anaheim for a Star Wars celebration and just had an amazing time out there as it was, but we waited hours upon hours in line, ate J.J. Abrams pizza that he ordered for everybody, got into the panel, had the original cast, the new cast, J.J. Abrams, Kathleen Kennedy, um, just unbelievable. They brought BB-8 out on stage. That was like the big reveal that it was an actual droid and just unbelievable stuff. It was just an amazing time, and we got to see the new trailer after all of that, and emotions were running high. I was bawling my eyes out the entire time the trailer was playing, but um, the very end of that trailer, I'm telling you, the, the energy in that room, it's, it's something I will never forget. To be amongst thousands of other Star Wars fans, and when this moment came on, and everybody jumped out of their seats and started screaming, um, just one of the most unbelievable moments in my entire life, and that is Chewie, we're home. And that print right there from Jim, I absolutely love. I had to get the big print for this. I already framed it, matted it on here, and um, it's going up on the wall in about five minutes. I've been waiting to put this up on the wall here, um, you know, until I can complete this video, but I love this print. Definitely my favorite print from Wizard World this year. I'll just do a quick little slide by here, but... Man, so gorgeous. Super, super happy to have that print, guys. And it's going up right above my other two Force Awakens prints. Um, I got three Force Awakens prints now. It's so crazy to think about that. And I'm getting another one tonight at Toys R Us because it is uh, Force Friday Eve right now. So I'll be shopping all night tonight, too. But, man, <clears throat> I'm telling you, every time I look at that, it's going to remind me of that moment. And that, that's why that's so important to me. It was just a, a magical moment in my life right there. And I'll take it in every time I see that. So... That's going to do it, guys. Thank you all very much for watching. Um, tons of stuff on here, a lot of artwork. Make sure you go check the links out down below to go support the artists. Um, and anything you like, I do believe all of them, you are able to order from their site. And check them out when they're coming around for conventions, because I know a lot of them do the circuits, and uh, a couple of them do this for a living, if not all of them. So make sure you check them out, support them, guys. Thank you all very much for watching. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, and I will catch you all next time.